listeners, guess what? It's Saturday. I'm having a lot of fun here today, and you know what? I've got a tour coming up. Who wants to come with me? Let's all go on this tour. We're gonna hit Big Rock Breweries. Come on, let's go. Well, that was a lot of fun, now wasn't it? <laughs> I enjoyed myself, I enjoyed the beers and there. What do you mean you guys didn't come with me? What? I, I thought I saw you guys down there. Oh, you guys missed out. Oh, jeez. Huh. Well, good thing I got a lot of pictures and video then, huh? <laughs> well, welcome to the very first episode of our Booze Reviews Tour 2014. And I thought I started off by going to Big Rock and, uh, yeah, it was actually a really good tour. I never knew a lot of things. I've been there so many times, but I didn't know things like, well, when it was made. Um, how it came about becoming a brewery. Uh, pretty much from that to what was their very first one, to actually going into the brewery itself and seeing all these massive, massive vats and things like, what could go into a other beer? And you wonder why I drink craft beer now? Oh my God. The stuff that goes into some of those things, like not mentioning any <coughs> names or anything like, <laughs> of course, <coughs> like that. There's a lot of different things that I don't think I would want in my body. Um, like the uh, corn syrup. Yeah, corn syrup. But anyways, let me just show you around and show you the pictures and some of the videos I took. So, uh, enjoy. I'll see you after. Welcome to the tour, and I have to tell you, this place is huge. This is Big Rock Brewery, and it is on a large piece of land. Right over there, we have the Big Rock Grill and the place that we go to start our tour. Got a nice little uh, windmill thing there, and there are new flags that's flying in the wind, or the breeze I should say. And here, we've got the brewery. So as you also enter into the gates, on the other side you've got the Big Brock Brewery in big bold letters. And in case you missed that on the way in, we have it on the top of the, uh, the brewery itself. Honestly, you can't miss this place, it's absolutely amazing. So. We head over to the Big Rock Grill and the reception offices, yet the grill is closed on the Saturdays, but the reception isn't. They lead you upstairs and there's these wonderful, wonderful kegs or the barrels here, and it makes you wonder what's in them. From there, we've got these taps that's upstairs and they've got a wonderful selection of their beer. And there's the other half of them and I tell you, there is a lot to drink there. And in fact, they tell you, what do you want to drink? Let us know and keep asking us because we're just going to keep pouring them. So I did. And they gave me a nice little grasshopper unfiltered, which you can't find in stores, but they have it on tap. And it's actually really quite good. From there, it's the purple gas I chose next and beautiful, beautiful fruit beer. And then they gave me something else, which was an oatmeal raisin stout. And it was good. I love this one and it was just really, really fantastic. From there I had the Rhinestone Cowboy, something that's still easy to drink even from the keg. And then I had their Rock Creek Cider. Yep, they make cider too and it was so good. So from there they tell us to put on our hats, well I guess hair nets, and get ready for the tour. They take us outside, explain what that nice little uh, uh, art piece is all about and then they take us over and tell us that this was uh, purchased by Ed McNally himself and uh, they're not sure if it's used for any transportation of beer but that's right beside the brew house and fermenting hall door and this is what I've been waiting to see you open the door and you come across these huge huge vats oh there wasn't just one of them there wasn't two of them oh my god they were all over the place there was a good 30, 40 of them. And just look at the size of those. I mean, compared to us, we're just small fries. And they took us around the back and I saw these barrels. Oh, I know that brew's coming up soon. 
And then they took us to where the malt bins are. And there's four malt bins, 30 tons each, all outside. And they've got different types of malts, and they fill them up each week. From there, I saw a flower pot. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, this is something else that they also used to carry with. But there is their barley, wheat, and hop fields that they have for something else. And then we have, oh right, I can't show you, that's top secret, I was told never to show that. Next up, we have a couple of water taps here. Not sure what they use those for, they really didn't explain. And then the yeast, oh yes, they put the yeast in there. They've got nice little cooling bars, which are those blue pipes. Then they take you back outside, take you down to the gift shop where you can fill up your growler or even buy something for your bike and then have to carry it home that way because you're too drunk to drive. And then that's pretty much the end of our tour. There's a lot more to see, so in all honesty, folks, go take the tour for yourself. This just doesn't do it justice. This just covers the surface. Check it out. Thanks. So as you see, the tour is really good. I really enjoyed it. However, I didn't show you a lot of the stuff. I didn't tell you what they said about the kegs or the casks or the blue pipes, which is actually a cooling system for all the vats. But keep a very close eye on the barometric pressure uh, gauge because, well, Calgary goes through so many different things. I mean, right now as we stand, it's 27 degrees outside and there's a thunderstorm. Which you can't hear thankfully because I don't think I want to hear a big rumble right now. So overall, I'd say go check it out. Honestly, spend the money. It is 25 bucks to go see it. Um, and at the end of the tour, you get a $5 uh, glass. So it's about $20. And if you go during the week, you get to uh, sample some of the food that the chefs at the Big Rock Grill take a little bit more off there. And you get a lot of beer. So it is really worth it if you think about it. The money is actually very well spent. I would love to be saying I'm drinking a Big Rock beer right now, but this is the best thing I've got and I'm not allowed to open it because I'm sending this to a friend in Victoria. So uh, they get it and I get to look at one of the best beers out there. Anyways, I still get to have more Big Rock beers than they do because I'm in Calgary. Well, until they open up their next location in Vancouver, then they get some special stuff and I don't. However, that's the first part of our tour. We've got four more breweries to check out. Uh, next up will be next Thursday, where I will be going down to Penticton to check out Tin Whistle. And then from there, I will be hitting Cranog Brewery that's uh, near Salmon Arm, Sycamus area. Um, that one apparently, they've got the backhand of God and I really would like to see and just hear about this. So it's, a, it's an ale uh, brewery. They only make usually ales. Then I have a couple days off, so I'm gonna relax, rest, and enjoy the BC sunshine and the water of the lakes. And then make my way down to Vancouver where I will be hitting the next brewery, which would be Parallel 49. And uh, yeah, that one I'm looking forward to. And uh, Johnny, <laughs> I'm sorry, but you had to work. Oh well, next time. Next time, book the time off early, will ya? And then from there, I hit the Sea to Sky Highway and I'm gonna hit Whistler Brewing on the 12th of August. Now hopefully, I probably may not be able to get a lot of these videos out, but I'll try and see if I get something out while I'm on vacation. Here and there, you may see one or two. Um, and uh, I might even try and hit house sound on the way back down. So overall, welcome to the very first part of our tour. Cheers! And thank you very much, Big Rock. You guys rocked it. I loved what you did. It was a weekend, so yes, you don't get as much. I mean, I didn't get to go into the bottling area or the delivery area, but we were also drinking a bit upstairs, and we actually had a good time looking around the brewery, asking lots of questions, and uh, that's no problem. I'll probably come back during the weekday to see what else, like, see what I've missed, because I know that you guys weren't exactly open, but from what I've heard, it's hustle and bustle during the week. So until then, folks, stay frosty. We'll see you on the next show. And for now, enjoy. God damn, this is a good beer. Cheers.